Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, folks, uh, we have some information. There was a secret meeting that was held Saturday on the Sabbath in, uh, in the Middle East as Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, met secretly with King Abdullah II, the King of Jordan. And their discussion had to do with the Temple Mount and the tensions that are in Jerusalem. Matter of fact, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Jordan's King Abdul II reportedly had a secret meeting in Amman, Jordan, and uh, over these tensions in Jerusalem. This is a report that came out yesterday on Kuwaiti newspaper. Now, it was an urgent meeting. It was called for the leaders to discuss the escalation and violence in East Jerusalem and the tensions surrounding the Temple Mount. Al Jarda has been used in recent years as a means for leaking and whitewashing information by sources in the Israeli Prime Minister's office before. More than once, this newspaper has published stories on goings on at Benjamin Netanyahu's bureau that later turned out they were true. However, in other instances, there has been reports that Netanyahu's office, and they weren't true. So, according to this report, leaders agreed, and Saturday had a meeting to increase the coordination between the Israeli government and the, uh, the Kingdom of Jordan, of course, which is managing the Dome of the Rock Mosque in efforts to ease tensions there. Furthermore, the report said that Benjamin Netanyahu promised King of Jordan to prevent Jews from ascending to the Temple Mount in the near future and define a new regulation for tourists who try who entry to the site, uh, which is a holy site for both Jews and Muslims. According to this report, Benjamin Netanyahu's statement urging Israeli uh, parliamentarians to cool the rhetoric on Jerusalem was released Saturday night as a direct result of this meeting with King Abdullah II. Now, Benjamin Netanyahu's statement also followed a request by U.S. Secretary of State John F. Kerry to calm the situation down in the capital there of Jerusalem. So in, a, in addition, the Kuwaiti newspapers are saying that King Abdullah updated Palestinian President Maud Abbas on his meeting with Netanyahu, which led Abbas to publish a statement praising the Israeli efforts to calm the situation. So neither the Israelis or the Jordanian side officially con or authentically confirmed this report, but tensions have escalated in Jerusalem in recent weeks and has rose further this weekend after the shooting of that right-wing Israeli activist Rabbi Glick and the police then killing of the suspected Palestinian assailant after the assassination attempt, Israel closed the Temple Mount to all visitors, including the Dome of the Rock Mosque to all Muslim worshipers last Thursday. So folks, and earlier this month, a Palestinian man had drove his car into a crowd of pedestrians on the streets of Jerusalem, killing a three-month-old baby and injuring seven others. So now, this thing is very intense. Did this meeting take place? I would say it probably did. I'd almost guarantee it did. And they've used this avenue of releasing the information in a soft response so that both sides can save face. Uh, so these are the reports we're getting. We have other uh, confirmations that this meeting took place. There's several now uh, newspapers that are confirming it, including the Israel National News and others. So it looks as if there's a cooling off here because this thing was escalating, but it's not over. The Jews want to worship on the Temple Mount and the Muslims 
don't want the Jews anywhere near it. And Christian tourists would like to be able to walk upon it. So that is the deal. That's what's taking place. And the Bible said this moment would come. Even takes it several steps further. So if you think it's over, oh no, it's just beginning. Here's what it says in Zechariah chapter 12, three verses. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel. This is a burden that Israel carries to be the host of the city of the great king, to be the children of Israel, to birth through the tribe of Judah, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, or Yeshua. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day, I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut into pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. And that prophecy is coming to pass. We're watching it as ISIS continues their rampage across uh, the Middle East, murdering Christians and ethnic minorities and anyone that stands in their way from the Muslim Caliphate and their leader, al-Baghdadi. We'll continue to pray as Iran is also working on nuclear weapons and their supreme leader, the Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, and their president, Hassan Rouhani. We know things are getting intense as Hamas and Hezbollah and the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda uh, and Al-Shabaab and many other groups continue to surround, these nations continue to surround Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom. Shalom.